good day. Today, I want to talk about devotion to the Holy Rosary and the Scapula. And I want to say this because there was a time the Blessed Virgin Mary said to St. Domly, in quote, one day, through the rosary and the scapula, I will save the world. So I'm interested in it, and I think I should share it with us. I want to share it with anybody. But before we start to talk, we must always place everything we do to the guidance of Our Lady as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, like I said, our lady said, to St. Dominic. One day, she said to St. Dominic that one day, through the rosary and the scapula, I will save the world. So now that we are in the month of May, you know, we have what is May devotion and October devotion. That's the month of the Blessed Virgin. You may want to know why May and October are chosen. This was because Our Lady, when she appeared in Fatima, she came on the 13th of May and then she applied several times from May till October. She came publicly on the same tattoo every month from May, June, July, August, September, and October. So these are very special days to we Catholics and those who believe in Our Lady. Also, Our Lady came publicly. An apparition to the three shepherd children starting from May. So May till October, especially May the beginning and the October 13th, the last apparition of Our Lady publicly to the shepherd children in Portugal, Fatima. So that's why May and October are chosen as special days that we pray, not that we don't pray, but special days for, the, for Our Lady all over the world. We say the rosaries all the time, all in remembrance of the messages, the apparition of Our Lady at Fatima and what she came to tell all of us to do, the instruction and messages she brought to each and every one of us, to the whole world, the secret of salvation, how through her messages we will not be lost. So I use this opportunity also in this May devotion to talk about the devotion to the Holy Rosary and the devotion to the scapulars. The Holy Rosary and the Scapulars are a gift from heaven. Our Lady brought it to us because she knows that we need them 
and there are sorts of graces that we can use to help us, to make us good Christians, to remove all the vices from us and increase the virtue in us so that we'll be good Christians. So, um, a lady promised in July 16, 1215, to St. Simon's talk that the devil, that the devil revealed to Francis, Francis of Yeps, the brother of John of the Cross, that there are three things especially that tormented them. The devil said three things, especially tormented them. The first is the name of Jesus. It torments them. Secondly, the name of Mary torments them. And third, the brass coupler of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. That's the brass coupler torments them. So the devil showed to Francis of Yepes, that's the brother of John the John of the Cross, that take off this habit, take off this habit. What is that habit? That is the scapula and the rosary. Or the scapula is wearing that. Take them off. They all cry. Which that this habit snatches many souls from us snatches many souls from us and those clothed in it die piously and escape us that's the confession of the devil the devil confessed that those who wear this cloth those who wear this cloth, what is this cloth? The brown scapula. The brown scapula is the cloth of Our Lady, worn by the Carmelite nun. It's a piece of fabric worn over, long in the front, down, and at the back, worn by the nuns and monks. It's a brown cloth. And it is also made now. The scapula is now is that is now a replica of the religious uh, religious habit, which was one like I say consisted of two pieces of wool connected by ribbons and then one under you can one under one's cloth so that the pieces hang the pieces this the piece hangs in front and also at the back. So that's what the scapula is all about. You can see the scapula. It can come in this form. You see this one. That's it. It's a ribbon. One. And then attached to the scapula, there's another. We have another form of the scapula. You see the brass scapula made from wool. You see it. One. It's a medal, miraculous medal attached to it. So, there are three sacramentals that are very, very vital to Our Lady. They are the rosary, the scapula, and the miraculous matter. This is the miraculous matter. Look at the back. I also have it here. You can see it. it could be in this form. Look at it. The miraculous matter. And the back. With the cross and the end. Or it could be in this form with the color on it. Still the miraculous matter attached. These things. Three things are gifts that Our Lady has given us 
their graces can be gotten. And they are one on the neck. Where the medal is the medal you choose to wear is one on the neck. Is the scapular is still one on the neck. The rosary is too. You can wear the rosary on the neck too, if you like. Or you carry it at your possession, wherever you are, because it tangles, so it's uncomfortable. But if you are not with this, you can still put the rosary on the neck, if you like. The rosary comes in different forms, so you can see the holy rosary. It comes in different forms and different colors. Different colors, you can have it as red color, any color, yellow, blue, as you like it. They are all in different colors. So, that's the Holy Rosary and the scapula. With the miraculous medals, they are all gifts from heaven. Our Lady gave it to us to use where graces can be gotten from for our protection and guidance and when you use it you must there are conditions to use it you don't just put it on and think yo and let's say we had the scapula you get grace no you have to work for these scapulas as well you have to work how do you do it you do your prayers Say your rosaries. Do prayers. Put it all the time. There are prayers to say. And you say your rosary. To say. So, you don't just wear it like that. And each of them has promises attached to it. If you look at the holy rosary, the whole, there are 15 promises. Fifteen promises attached to the devotion of the Holy Rosary. And for those who are devotees of the Blessed Virgin Mary, when we say devotees, you have to wear the brown scapula. That is, you must be consecrated to Jesus through the Immaculate Heart of Mary is one of the requests Our Lady made of each and every one of us at the last apparition in Fatima on the 13th October 1917. She wants everybody to put on the brass scapula, and which means you have to be consecrated. Our Lady wants us to put the miraculous medal. She gave it to St. Catherine of Labore. St. Catherine Labore. It's for us to get graces. It's a sign of Our Lady with us. Our Lady gave this, uh, this couple too. For us to wear, it's a sign of being clothed in her. She in you and you in her all the time. And there are conditions you must follow. You don't just wear it like that. So when we look at the, the rosary, the rosary has its own benefits. The benefit of saying the rosary, one. Number one, it is the weapon against the devil. So to keep the devil away, always say the rosary for protection to keep the devil away. Then two, it gives graces. Many graces are gotten from the rosary. It gives victory over our enemies. That is the devil. When you say the rosary all the time, you are victorious. Four, it makes it easy for us to practice virtues. And again, feet, it makes vices to go away from us. Because as you are saying, the roses and the graces, and Our Lady is giving you the graces. Without knowing, you see the vices. 
no more with you. One day you will look at yourself and say, ah, I used to be like this, but look at me. I'm calm now. You don't know. It is the rosary you are saying. It drives away vices from you and makes you holy. It sets us on fire for love of blessed Lord. When you say the rosary, it sets you on fire for love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because you are saying it meditatively. And the rosary is all about the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you cannot talk about the life of our Lord Jesus Christ without talking about the Blessed Virgin Mary. So the two of them are together as you are reciting this rosary, you are meditating on their lives. So that is how it is done. Then again, it, reach, it enriches us with graces and merits. Graces and merit. Our Lady is the mediatrix of all graces. So when you are saying this rosary, devoutly, it enriches us with graces and merit. It supplies us with what is needed to pay our debts to God and to our fellow men. And finally, it obtains all kinds of graces for us from Almighty God. So try it and see. It does that. Have confidence. If you have confidence in our Lord Jesus Christ and you are praying this rosary because the rosary is all about the life of Jesus. And when you meditate on the life of Jesus, the merits and graces for each life of Jesus, the graces come to you. Because it changes you. It makes you to love Jesus, love God, and love the Blessed Virgin Mary. Because it's through the Blessed Virgin Mary that our Lord Jesus came. So there is no way you can talk about Jesus without measuring the Blessed Virgin Mary. So, and the promises attached to it is, are so numerous. We have about 50 promises. The most, they are all important, but the one that is so pronouncing is that the soul that prays the rosary cannot just die like that. Before you die, you have some signal graces you devotee it's one of the promises of our lady signal graces that you are going to die you yourself will know and you prepare yourself that's the benefit of saying the rosary and you cannot die without receiving the sacrament of the church sacrament of the church you can't die without receiving it that means you must be in state of grace and when somebody is dying and you are in state of grace it means you are prepared for heaven and our lady promise if you google on 15 promises of our lady 15 promises of saying the holy rosary given by our lady Google on it and you will get everything, yeah, up to 15. And it's so good. And our ladies, what she says, she fulfills and it did. So, the rosary is a gift from heaven for you and I. This is the month of May now. Let us try May. We have especially May, the beginning and the last August, October. October. So we have month of May and month of October as devoted to our lady. In short, 
May and October, it doesn't mean that throughout the operation started from May throughout till October. So, but the church chose May and October. But we all know that from that May up to October operations every month. So, you can make your prayers and novenas to the apparition of Our Lady for every month. For the one of May now started 4th May. We started from 4th May to end in 12th May. And then 13th, which is the first apparition of Our Lady, we, you know, meditate on the mystery, on the messages of May that Our Lady brought and work on it. Then in June too, we repeat the same thing. 4th to 12th. So also July. So also August. And so also September. And finally, October. So May to October, the month of Our Lady. Every day throughout May, every day in all over the world, the churches, Catholic Church, we have uh, novenas every day for the period of that month and also in October. But on your own personal devotion for throughout June up to um, September, you can be doing your novenas to the days of the apparition, 12th I mean, 4th to 12th of every month, and then on 13th day is the day of operation. Close your novena every month like that, two hours. So that is the big devotion to the Holy Rosary. That doesn't mean that you don't say the rosary all the time. You must say it all. In short, when you are used to saying the rosary, you cannot stop saying the rosary because it is so full of graces that you yourself you can't stop because when you miss it it's like something has happened to you you have lost so many things that you cannot stop it because it's your contact with jesus the blessed mother the holy trinity god the father the son and the holy spirit the blessed virgin mary all the time so you'll be happy saying the rosary once you start it it's not easy. The devil will want to not to allow you and say, oh, it's reputation. It's the, the rosary is not a reputation. Even though you are saying the Hail Mary. Do you know what Hail Mary, the name Mary means? The devil has scared of it. And then you are praying Jesus too. Devil, it's tormented. So you have to keep saying it and keep tormenting the devil because the devil too is tricking us and making us to disobey God. So we also, since you have known that this is what is tormenting him, we also should torment the devil and keep giving him that blow. The Hail Mary and the name of Jesus is a blow to the devil. They receive terrible blow. So why don't you keep saying it and be blowing the devil? spiritually as you are saying this morning so that is it for the rosary devotion then the scapular devotion too is there the scapular devotion is also the request you know at fatima a lady right from the time she appeared she keeps saying rosary holy rosary holy rosary all throughout her operation she encourages the children and to tell that is a message to you and I that rosary devotion must not stop. We must all be devotees of the Holy Rosary. And we also must be devotees of the Holy Scapula. Because her lady requested it from us too. That we should use it. She brought it. We should use it. It's a gift. Give it to us. By her lady to say Simon stop. To the Carmelite uh, monastery. Huh? So our lady brought it to Simon's talk and it's a gift given to us. And our lady wants us later on, it's extended to everybody to say the 
they, they, to wear the scapula, not only once you have consecrated, that means in wearing the scapula, you consecrate yourself to Jesus Christ through the Immaculate Heart of Mary. It is very, very important because our Lord requested it, and that is why uh, Sister Lucia did not go to heaven immediately. Our Lord requested it. In the month of July, Lucia was told she cannot go because our lady told her, my son, you cannot go because my son, our Lord Jesus Christ, wants you to establish the devotion to the Immaculate Heart here on earth. And Lucia did not go to heaven. She was there and keep giving the instruction how to do it until it was done. Both the consecration of Russia and the devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. After she had been able to pass the instruction of how to do it, that was when she was taken to heaven. So you can see how important it is. If you are not wearing the brass scapula, please try and be a devotee of the brass scapula. These are gifts, just like the rosary is a gift from heaven. The brass scapula too is a gift from heaven. And the miraculous medal too is a gift from heaven, which we put around us for protection, for graces from God, and for us to be with our lady and our lady with us. And Jesus too with us. We can't talk about our lady without talking about Jesus or Jesus without talking about the Blessed Virgin Mary. So just like we have the benefit of saying the rosary, here is the benefit of wearing the scapula. Virgin Mary's special protection, number one. Virgin Mary's special protection. Two, a sign of salvation when one devotedly as our lady, as our lady wishes it, will help us to secure eternal life. Three, it gives us peace. Four, it gives us sabbatine privilege. What if you have peace, you have gotten everything. And then the sabbatine privilege. You may ask, what is sabbatine privilege? Yes, you may ask, what is sabbatine privilege? Sabbatine privilege is the early liberation, early liberation from purgatory through the special intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary which she graciously exercised in favor of her devoted servants who have consecrated, who are consecrated to her son through her immaculate heart. And she goes there, takes them from purgatory, on the first Saturday of their death. First Saturday of their death, Our Lady goes to purgatory to take the souls of her children, this, her servants of our Lord and herself. Servants who have consecrated themselves to Jesus Christ through her immaculate heart. When they die, the Saturday of their death, our lady promised she will go to purgatory if by chance, by wanting or the other, they are in purgatory. If they do well, they may not be in purgatory, they can go to heaven. 
But if for one reason or the other, and you find yourself in purgatory, our lady promised that she herself, the first Saturday of the death of such servant of hers, who is devoted to her and who has consecrated his or herself to Jesus Christ through her immaculate heart, she is going to take that person to heaven. That's a promise she made. She made this promise. So, what are we waiting for? Our lady has brought everything, has brought how to get eternal life, how to get the kingdom of God, how to go to heaven to us. She brought everything and dropped it to us. No wonder she said to St. Dominic that one day, through the rosary and the scapula, I will save the world. That is, you and I, everybody, go propagating it. Let everybody practice this devotion. Our Lady will save each and every one of us. Let us all practice this devotion. And then, that is what, like I said, the Sabbatai privilege. But you cannot just get this unless you, there are conditions to it. What are the requirements? You want, you must wear the scapula all throughout your life. 24 hours. Throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, must be on your neck. One round your neck. That's it. That's how the scapula is worn. The scapula is not a rosary you can put in your back or it's something you wear it. And that's how the miraculous medal too is worn. So the scapula and the miraculous medal are put together. Once you do your total consecration, you have your scapula and miraculous medal put together. They all have their promises attached to each one of them. Two, Another promise is observe chastity according to our state of life. Chastity according to our state of life. Whatever you are doing, you must be pure. Pure chastity. Whether you are a priest, whether you are married, you must be pure in your vocation. You are single and you want to put it you must be pure and single. Wherever you are, you are working, be good and be pure, be diligent in your work and be pure in whatever you do. Let you, you have to be straightforward. Three, you recite the office of our blessed mother. The office of our blessed in the, in wearing the scapula, we have offices attached to it office you say at down 3 a.m. or 5 a.m. at down you have the office at 6 a.m. 9 a.m. 12 noon 3 p.m. 6 p.m. 9 p.m. and then you can make the office so you must say the offices and in the offices you have the rosary the rosary or some other pious work can substitute for the office of Our Lady. There are offices, prayer book with the office of Our Lady, you must say every time. But if you are doing other pious job, pious thing you are doing at that particular time, maybe you are saying the rosary at that particular time, or you are doing other pious job, helping the sick, doing some other things, religious things that are for saving life at that particular time. You cannot, you may not recite the office at that time. That job you are doing is also good. 
so the job can succeed for any pious job or if you are saying a rose your rosary at that particular time then you have what we call scapular morning offering whereby in the morning you have the prayers you say with regards to the scapula all the time you renew your promises your consecration to Jesus Christ through the Immaculate Heart of Mary you renew your consecration through the Immaculate Heart of Mary telling her that you have consecrated yourself to her and you have put yourself to her and everything you have you are a slave to her you don't have anything you own you, 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 you submitted your will to her, you will your life to Mary and all these things. So, you are, at that time, it's part of the renewal also you do. Offering of our daily duties to her, anything you do. So, prayers of Our Lady of Miraculous Mother, you must say it. You have the little crown of the Blessed Virgin Mary, there are prayers you have to say. You have to be a devotee of the Angelus. A devotee of the angelus or Regina Jenny. You must say it six in the morning, twelve, and six in the evening. And if you happen to be awake at night, twelve midnight, you also say the angelus or say the Regina Jenny's. All this are devotion. Not be you cannot be a devotee of our blessed Mary without being a devotee of the angelus. Pray the little office of the Immaculate Conception. Say your ready and meditation. <coughs> so you have to do all those things. 